Today's vlog is going to be so exciting and just very out of the ordinary. Like I am a homebody at heart, okay? I will sit here with my cat and live my best life. But you know, I feel like sometimes I should feel like I'm 22, like and I should go out and have fun and make friends and do all that things even though sometimes it's scary for me. But I'm so excited and I'm gonna be taking you along for the whole ride. Today I'm gonna do some work though and try to get everything out of the way so I'm not super stressed about it while I'm out because I always just think about work or just all that stuff. I've always been that way even with school. Like I try to get everything out of the way first so that I can just let loose and just have fun because I love stressing myself out. Like. I just love it. Tonight around seven, I'm gonna be going to one of my friends' EP release parties. Her name is Twee. She is absolutely so fucking incredible and talented. She is such a sweetheart. I'm just so excited to support her and listen to the EP with everyone. I mean, I've been having it on repeat since I woke up. Her voice and her music style is just immaculate like she is so talented so i'm just so excited to be there and support her and then after that i'm probably going to be meeting up with one of my friends erica she's going to a concert in la tonight so maybe we'll cross paths maybe we'll see each other i don't know we've been friends for a bit and she's actually the one that got me into k-pop so i owe her a lot <laughs> oh and today i'm also getting an iphone 14 pro max she's in the mailbox right now i'm so excited to unbox her but i'm also not one of those people that's like when a new iphone comes out like i must have it like i'm like i don't know like i don't really Really care that much if it's not broke I ain't gonna fix it but I was eligible for an upgrade and my grandma's also been wanting a new phone so she wanted this one actually it's the 12 and I'm just gonna give her that one and then take this one we're all on the same phone plan so it's just all gonna work out it's gonna be like in a circle so yeah I have a lot of fun things for this vlog I hope you enjoy and yeah let's go let's go downstairs right now and get my phone because I feel like it always takes forever for it to like transfer and connect Bye, bye, bye. Mommy will be back. Getting mail is always such a humbling experience because I'm always wearing, like I'm always dressed like a bum. That's fine. My phone case actually came in at the same time, which I think is so lovely. Beautiful. Hello. Now I'm just gonna do some chores around the house and first things first, I gotta do the dishes because I really let them pile up. <laughs> But there's been a revelation after I mentioned that I used to hand wash my dishes on like my channel. Everyone was telling me to start using the dishwasher because it actually takes less water if you just pack it. So I've been doing that and it's been so nice. Like it was a learning curve though, like trying to figure out a dishwasher, but I got it. So I've been doing work and then also just like financial stuff. I'm like, ew, like that stuff just stresses me out so much. I think it's just because of the way that I grew up. Like I view money 
just very like i don't know i just can't handle it sometimes this part is not sponsored by the way but i've been using this website called bench and they basically just do like all your bookkeeping and they also like just do all the financial things that you don't want to do so yeah they're not sponsoring me or like partnering up with me or whatever um but i just remember how stressed i was and i know tax season is coming up so if you're in the kind of same position as me look for getting help if you can afford it i think it's a really good investment and yeah i have some codes if you want to use it though but it's fine but now i'm going to keep on doing some work until i have to get changed um i have some documents to send to like my team and everything so yeah i feel grown but i'm not grown excuse me where are your arms are you a loaf so I have no idea what to wear to the party tonight. So let's try to pick an outfit together. I don't know like what the vibe is. There was no dress code or anything like that. I don't want to be too overdressed, but I also don't want to look too casual. This is kind of an idea that I have going on. Um, I kind of does look really casual, but my thought process, especially with the top, is that it kind of matches her EP cover. So maybe it's like, yeah, she put some thought into it, but all right, let me just try it on. Let's see. Okay, yeah, I really don't like it. I think it is definitely too casual and I wish, like I feel like it just looks, I don't know, it just doesn't give. But you know, that's what, I just gotta try it. I think maybe I'm gonna keep the top on and then try to experiment with different bottoms. I kinda hate this one too. Okay, so I know this is like a complete 180 of what I wore before. I think I just had to go with something tried and true because I have to leave soon. Traffic is looking pretty bad right now, so I think maybe maybe I'll, I'll maybe I'll look in my closet one more time. But yeah, I think I think I'm fine. It's like I'm wearing clothes. Okay, I looked in my closet again, and I think this is this has to be the final fit because we absolutely have to leave right now. Martin just got home. We gotta go. But. I mean, I think I think she's fun. She's a little casual, but it looks like I tried. I don't know. I love doing these things with the clips. Okay, let's go. for my skincare routine but i don't know i don't know they're hiding so good i can't even see a little butt right now oh what are you doing here Okay, so a lot of people have been commenting that I post way too much about K-pop and that they get annoyed. So let's talk about some K-pop right now. <laughs> New Stray Kids album came out today, or should I say like more so last night? Um, but I haven't listened to it yet. 
I'm literally crawling out of my skin. I'm waiting for Martin to get off work because honestly, like we both like them like so much. Like we stand them so hard. So we promised each other, we're like, okay, we have to listen to it together because it's just, it's gonna be a more fun experience. We could just like dance around together, but I wanna listen to it so bad. I've heard a couple snippets on TikTok and it already sounds so good. I just really admire how experimental and talented and hardworking they are. So, and I know that's gonna like really show in this album. So yeah. I've just been listening to a lot more artists recently, um, like Chung Ha, New Jeans, um, Itzy, ATs, TXT, like you know how it is. I've posted about it a couple times and <laughs> the amount of hate I've gotten for like being like a multi-stan okay like i don't i feel like i just like listen to other people's music like i feel like sometimes the k-pop fan community can be very toxic and territorial i don't know it was like such a weird thing for me to experience at first since i'm like relatively new to k-pop but i would say like it immerses most of my life like it's most of the music i listen to and everything like that and i feel like it's not something that you need to prove to other people <laughs> like it's like i don't know i think it's kind of weird i still love talking about it because it really really helped me feel better with my asianness and i don't know like all of these are my social channels right like i don't want to be just a girl like on the screen that you don't really know who like I am, you know? So yeah, I don't know. Kind of explain myself when I don't need to. I talk about this to my like other K-pop influencer friends and they go through the same thing too. Nevertheless, I love K-pop so I'm not gonna stop talking about it because I think it's just so fun. Like I feel like even, even with all the hate, like I have met so many cool people and even gained like a new audience of like people that also like K-pop. So I think that's just so fun that we can all geek out together. <laughs> So today I have a birthday dinner to go to and then afterwards we're gonna go to another person's birthday party and potentially go to a club after. <laughs> uh, this is when I hang out with this one girl, okay? Like she's always down for everything and she's really pushed me to like, you know, be young. And the thing that I'm stressing out about right now is like, what the hell am I gonna wear? Like what am I gonna wear to like a nice dinner and then go to like a casual party and then potentially a club? And also one of the things has a dress code where you could only wear black or white or black and white. I know I'm supposed to be a fashion girly, but with stuff like this, like, wow, okay. Like this is making my brain work. So right now, like I put on a Skims dress. I think it looks really pretty, but I think it's just too fancy. Like I feel like it would look okay for the dinner, but I don't think it would like work for anything else. We have to leave in less than an hour too. So wish me luck. Okay, I think this dress might be good for like both a dinner and a club and a party. I added these boots too because I like the height and I think it also just adds something. The dinner is a rooftop bar, so I feel like I should be wearing a jacket and I have two. So this one is more fitted and just like, you know, and slim. So you can see how it looks like right here. But then I have this big mama jacket that I really like the way that it fits. I just really love an oversized jacket. But I don't know, I feel like it might be too much. I think it just depends on the, the vibe, right? Like, do I want to look like street style with this or would the other one look a little bit more like polished? Mm. We're heading out to LA. We're gonna listen to the Shake It album. I'm so excited. Mm-hmm. Oh, you better talk nice to me, I'm 
in your head, I invest. That's a short term fee. Got it locked. I'm the best. Well, at least that's what I need. Give me props when I rap. Yeah. 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 Big bag, I'm that in it. I get it. I got it. Going north, not south. Cause I rise when I rap. Bars on flex. Let me show you what I'm about. Young black boy from the bell. I get my city clout. Uh. You know, singing and rapping. Tell your bro, I show you passion. As a young and they was laughing. Now they in the street. Bumping my tunes and singing my songs to me. I'm anything and everything your girl wants you to be. Today I'm hanging out with Mariana. She was my roommate last year and it's her birthday weekend. So we're gonna go to LA today and go thrifting. With the pigs on the back of us, swerving to suburbia, you're bleeding out, yeah. yes. Only urban to you, call cheese, I'm the call cheese, fucking boss of your girl's eyes rolling B, swear she ain't roll me on the road near the forest, but she forged for these nuts just for none, now I'm busted, busted in your mama's house, smack the taste out your mouth. We just went to Silver Lake Flea. Okay. We just took a lot of Instagram pictures. Mm -hmm. Had to get Starbucks again for water. Cheers. This is the best thing I've ever drank my entire life. Oh my god. That Starbucks AC was immaculate. Mm -hmm. And then now we're just gonna go to this giant thrift store that we saw online. Yeah. Purse. Yeah. Just got home and I'm gonna give a little haul of what I thrifted. It wasn't too much, um, but they were very mindful. So I think that's very important. So the first thing was this BB Sport. Isn't it so cute? It's giving Bella Hadid. It's giving, it's giving everything. I love when they have double zippers. So then you can make it like cropped or share a little bit tubby if you want. And the second and also last thing I got <laughs> was this hoodie. I think it would look really good with my orange hair. It also has orange detailing on it. Mm. Apparently this brand is like expensive. I don't know. When I tried to haggle with it, she was like, no, I'm staying firm with my price. Like you should look up the thing. Um, I, I got it for $40. Yeah, cute. I don't think like that, she says to me. I can't help but feel the subtleties. So if it all expires, I guess the date's not what it seems But I can't help it, boy, she says to me Good morning, hotties. I have some packages to open. Let's go! I got a screen protector for my phone case because I forgot to get it. I didn't think my phone would show up that fast. Okay, how do I open this nicely? This one's a secret. I don't think I'm allowed to post about this one yet. This big one right here is from Urban. I've been wanting it for like a year. Hello. We got like a brown version and I really love the pattern on it too. I can't wait to actually like put a light bulb in it and see what it looks like. Okay, and the last package is so exciting. This was a pretty penny. Let's just say that. I got it because my mom raves about it so much and I trust my mom, obviously. I bleach and dye my hair very often. So like, I mean, yeah, like I use my hair mask, I use all that stuff, but I still have to blow dry my hair because 
Usually when you have bleached hair, it's not advised to sleep with it wet. And sometimes when I shower at nighttime, like, uh, like I feel like I'm just using way too much heat on my hair. So yeah, it was very expensive, but I was also trying to think like, oh, if I do keep killing my hair with the way that I'm treating it with the heat tools, like it could cost me more money trying to like have keratin treatments or just like masks, like buying so many masks and all that stuff. And like even with time and everything, I just weighed out the pros and cons and I felt like this was worth it. Ooh, I feel like, I feel like rich. Yeah, this is so luxurious. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I don't think it looks perfect. I only did this in 10 minutes and also I feel like this is a bit of a learning curve. But my mom's coming so I kind of had to rush the learning process, but I really like it so far. I know I can get better at using it the more I use it and I feel like I might just play around with my hair a little bit more and I felt like it wasn't getting too hot. Sometimes I would like do the blowout brush and then I would like touch my hair just like put it away and then I have to like go like, oh, it's like really hot. But like this one doesn't do that. I think it has temperature regulation technology or something like that. But yeah, it doesn't look perfect Dyson hair, but I think I can get there, hopefully. <laughs> I mean, it was $600, so I better get there actually. All oh, then, oh, remember your favorite. I know you say yeah. no, but I don't care. I know I have so many things. Yeah. Uh, and then these ones, they can hang on your- Please the boys are naked. This is you, Martin. This, <laughs> is, this is like, The ivories. I haven't been sleeping well, so I'm trying to start ice rolling my face because I get so puffy and my eye bags are gnarly, y'all. Like, it's really, really bad. Did a lot this weekend, so I think we're gonna take today to chill out. This is the first weekday that we've had together that we like actually stayed home probably like in like a month or a month and a half so i think we're just gonna chill out watch some more junior bake off because it's so funny i think the kids are adorable but yeah i hope you liked today's vlog i had a lot of fun spending it with you and i'll see you next time bye